everybody this is Uncle Wilmer and I'm back with uh, part three of the Sa Alexandria uh, passenger station build for Robert the Flying Crow and uh, this week this is a challenging one uh, pay close attention because this is a learning session uh, it took us took me about three to four days to figure out this formula for making glass block windows. I have not found any place that uh, manufactures glass block windows for our models in HO scale. Uh, so uh, Robert and I put our thinking caps on and came up with a few possibilities and some were duds and some were not. <laughs> the final thing that I come out with, it's not a hundred percent, but it's pretty doggone close. It's what I'd say is not bad. So, that being said, let's go to the workbench. All right, here we are at the workbench and you can see this mess. <laughs> I'm going to tell you some things we, we, we tried that we didn't like, okay? One, uh, Robert had got me some of this, this lattice. It's O-scale lattice. But the little squares inside here are about the correct height and width for the glass block. But the problem I had came up with, and you'll see this is the result of what I tried to do with this. Uh, try to get it as closely as I can. Focus. Yeah. Don't look half bad. But it still looks like lattice that I filled with crystal clear. <laughs> to me it does. I... I mean, from a distance, it, it might be suffic sufficient, but I think I could have done better. So we went on and did a couple other things. Then I got what you see in the, the uh, right here is some Plastistruct. Uh, this is, uh, if you look, it's, it's whoop, trying to get it here. Uh Item number 91543, and they call it square tile, and it's pretty thin stuff, but, you know, but anyhow, this is what it looks like when it comes out. Now, what we I done, well, we were trying to figure out how, without using a teeny weeny, eeny beeny, you might you end scalers might be used to it. I'm not, but the paint inside these little tiny squares, and so anyhow, if you look down, let me go over here a little bit. Down here, you can see I have painted this. Now, what I ended up doing was I painted it a I, this is Walmart paint, pewter gray, and I put a dab in a in a, a little dish. I these are something I acquire from some of my medicine. All right, I put in a little dish, and uh, oh, probably about five or six drops, and I put two drops of this Caribbean color. In with it to give it a greenish tint. Now you, I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but it ain't too bad. And then once you paint it, you let it dry, and you get yourself a a rag, rag, all right, and you dip it in a little bit of water, and you come along and you just try washing it off. Not 
completely, but you're watching what you're doing. And it leaves the the lines in between done, but yet it still leaves opens it up. And if you if you don't get it all off, that's fine because I'm sure that glass block got dirty being by the railroad tracks and come up with it and what we come up with in finished results here's one I have cut to size already all right just trying to get it so that it'll focus good so you can whoop so you can see and that's what you come up with. And then I, what I do is I take and I used uh, it's evergreen, evergreen. Let's see here. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it here. Evergreen, one sixty three. All right, that's what I'm using. And it's a sixty thousandths by sixty thousandths uh, piece of stock, and I cut it back over here. Let's put it down here, maybe. Let's see if I can zoom out in. Yeah. Okay. Center it. Center it. There we go. And what I do is I take that stock. And before I do anything else, where did I put it? Where to put it? Oh, that that just figures. I had a piece of acetate already cut. There it is. <laughs> okay, you take a piece of acetate. I don't know how well you can see. Oh, it's shining through there pretty good. And I stick it on top of the acetate. All right. back to the acetate now the only reason I'm putting it on the acetate because Robert wants to light this building from the inside too so I put it on acetate so that the light can still shine through and even though this is a solid color you'll see here in a minute because I'm going to show you the a, a finished product here in a little bit all right and I'll glue this to the acetate so it doesn't move. Then I'll cut a piece of there's my of uh, stock. Line it up on there pretty good, and then put one on the other side. Like so. And then one across the top. Now I'm glue I usually glue these in one at a time because it makes it easier to work with. One more here. Looks like that one I'm going to have to cut down a little bit. Just a little bit more. This one right here. This is being the, the troublemaker. But anyhow, 
you get the general gist of it. And then after you have it all together, you take either some, what, this last one I used crystal clear, the, right here, micro crystal clear. All right. And I took a toothpick. Let me undo this. More okay. I took a toothpick and all I did was I just dipped it down into the crystal clear and I started putting a thin layer of crystal clear over the entire inside of this frame. When it's all done, I don't know if you can see the well, the light ain't shining right. Let me put this light on. See if that helped. But, anyhow. You get the look of a glass block. And I'm trying to get to where the light shines on it so you can see. And then... One step further, where did I put it? Here it is. Now, I don't have a... Let me shut this back out. I don't have a LED handy, though. But I have a flashlight here. And you can see that light will shine through it. And it'll give you the effect of lights. You'll be able to see the lights on in the building. Now, I have... 14, I think that's what I counted, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 of these windows to make, and it will take me some serious time to make these, but to get the effect that you want and to have it look that you want, you have to do that. So that's how I'm making glass blocks. I am going to try to use Mod Podge, gloss Mod Podge, instead of the crystal clear to see how it looks. I'll do it on one and then compare the two. And from there, I'll make a decision of which I use. But I think the crystal clear is perfectly fine. Modge Podge is cheaper. <laughs> I mean, for what I paid for this little bottle, I got this big bottle <laughs> for the same price, if not a little cheaper. If this does what that did with this done, guess what I'm using? You know, but for now, that's and it took some serious experimentation to come up with the colors. We did some in black, the black just didn't look quite like the pictures. Here's some that well, there's one piece that I did in black. I know it, it don't might look okay to you. But when you're trying to compare it and trying to make it look as close to the what the real thing looked like, okay, the gray with with the, like I said a little bit of a green tint to it. We put a green tint to it. It gives the glass block effect, and uh, that was the trick. And then putting the crystal clear over top of it just enhanced it. Now, the little frame, it ain't quite exactly 100%, but it's not bad. Not bad. And it'll make it a little bit easier for me to install when I do go to do the windows in the building itself. So, and look a little more realistic, I think. So, now I will take this and see how it looks kind of odd right there and that I, I will clean that all up I will 
you know, trim it and sand it to where it fits perfectly square into a square hole and go from there. And that's how I make glass block windows. <laughs> All right. And I think that will end it for part three. Because that's a big hunk right there, getting these. And on part four, I'll show you the windows all done, all, you know, all put together. And I will show you cutting out the windows and the doors and this stuff right here. And uh, also probably reinforcing the back here, which I've got a few ideas. The best thing is probably just cut another piece and glue a piece of uh, 40 thousandths styrene on the back of it and uh, go from there. So, like I said, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned a little something from this. Uh, I love you guys' comments. Keep them coming. Uh, a lot of you guys give suggestions. Keep giving them suggestions. Because <laughs> they actually help out. They really do. And uh, I have nothing more to say. Uh, but thank you, and may the Lord keep you, and bless you, and your family, and you guys have a wonderful day, keep safe, and uh, see you in part four. Bye now.